you're never gonna believe this, but all that snow we had, the dog sledding that we did, yeah, it's gone. In less than a day. It's gone. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs. Look at these snuggle bubbles. So we have had like 40 and 50 mile an hour wind gusts going on like crazy. What? You're just hanging out with your toy? Am I ruining your your time with your toy? <laughs> Uh, it has been so windy. The wind basically melted all the snow. It was pretty warm and now it's getting cold again and it's supposed to be 15 degrees again by Friday. <sighs> but all the snow's gone. What do you girls think of that? This is how they feel. Are you comfortable, Memphis? She's like, this is the best, guys. I'm, just, I'm comfortable, I'm chilling, and I'm napping. How do you guys get so cute, huh? How do you, how do, you do it? How do you get so cute? The internet wants to know how you manage to get so cute and stay that way. I don't know, they're just good at it. Did you get that out of your system? Did you get the crazies out of your system? <laughs> Crazy dog. You girls are just feisty today. You're gonna make this all dog vlog today, eh? Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> you girls are nuts. I don't know what's going on. Is it the weather? You already ate? You're just restless today? Is it the wind? Oh, you're howling with the wind. I get it. Totally got it. Continue on. Go ahead. <laughs> what's going on? What? What's going on? What? 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 I figure we have lazy day, so Greg's gonna come over. Oh gosh, they opened the door. He's gonna get mauled. You're gonna get mauled. <laughs> oh, by the way, everybody in the other day's video pointed out that you have a really pimp coat. Yeah, well, it's not easy, but it sure is fun. <laughs> nice when it's 15 below zero out right yeah. i had to even though it was 60 yesterday yeah i had to explain to some people though that it is fake fur they gotta go out apparently they do now okay. how about you short stuff greg's in here he's gonna let you outside you want to go outside it's like oh wait maybe i'll go too thanks <laughs> so today has been an extra windy blustery day we haven't really gone out and done anything because it's so windy and can't really do a whole lot outside in the wind except get blown around we thought about going to fly a kite but 40 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts probably a little bit too much to fly a kite so message greg he said he was bored we figured we'd show you guys the new game we got from game night gear it's called race to the north pole so that's what we're gonna do and as you can tell the dogs have had some interesting outbursts today well, what's what is it really really is this is this Really? Didn't earlier, didn't I say, how can you get any cuter? Hi. <laughs> uh, all right, let's play some board games. That'll be fun. This is the game we're gonna play. It's called Race to the North Pole. 
and it got sent to us from Game Night Gear. I'll put an affiliate link to their website down below. It's a very interesting game. Even the board moves. We've played it one time, so we're still figuring it out. But it's pretty fun. Are you gonna, are you gonna play? Are you gonna, you gonna, are you gonna play this game with me? Are you? Huh? Are you? <laughs> Are you ready to play this crazy board game? It's different, but yeah. Okay. I kind of I'm already showed them. Right? right? Just go. Yeah, I kind of already showed that the board right. moves. I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm going to randomly pick teams. Here's all the instructions that are important if you feel like reading them. <laughs> uh, there is huskies. See? There's a husky right there. It gives you, you get to play an extra card on your turn. And then there's teams. And the goal of the game is to make it to the North Pole, which is right here. But we'll kind of show you the gameplay as we start playing. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be epic. I'll show you. <laughs> so I already dropped mine, but this is how you determine who goes first. Ooh. Ooh. I missed. Uh, you, I think you hit it. No, I think uh, you either way. <laughs> so whoever, you drop it on the North Pole. Ooh, whoever yeah. lands closest goes first. <laughs> gotta get three guys up the hill. Guy goes first. Yep. yep three ah! guys. To the hill. My dude on a base camp here. So the first thing you have to do when you move is you have to put your guys on a base camp. See where all, here I'll show you on my side. See where all the little snow footprints are? You can put it on any one of those spots. And then like Greg's going first, so he has to choose one of those moves. I'm going to choose this move. Which one is that? Move in any direction? Any direction. One and space in any here. direction. Now let me see the card. So this is the card that Greg chose to use. Is this one here. So he can move one in any direction. Now this adds two to our storm. Once the storm hits, what does it have to hit for three people? I think it's nine. Once four. there's ten of those little dots, a storm will happen and the board will turn. But we'll show you when it gets there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so now when I do this one, whoops, I get to move my guy diagonally. But now since we have ten of these little little dots on here, it adds up to a storm. So to determine which way the storm blows, we have to look at the top of this card. I can't tell which way it goes. That way? Halfway? <laughs> there we go. So the whole board changed. So everything is now different. So if you had a plan, well, too bad. Because see, there's little glass pieces. Not really glass, they're plexiglass <laughs> pieces. In here, so you can see Ice. through the board. It was supposed to open the wall, not make more walls. Yep, so I know. There's a wall there now. Yep. So now your plan is well, Shot. you better <laughs> make a new plan. <laughs> Let me give this a try. Okay, so I'm blue, Jamie's white, and Greg's black. I can't. I won't be able to move up to the North Pole. Maybe Jamie's I will. deciding what he's going to do. Oh, he might change his mind. You have a, um, I don't have two huskies, but we'll see what happens. All right. Okay. So, I'm my guy's white and she's blue. Yep. Now I'm gonna play this move or attack, one space in diagonally. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna send little yes back to base camp. So now I go. I go back to my boat. Okay, now I get to keep her location, but now I get to draw this and the polar bear. It's polar bear. We got a polar bear. So now what? You no, gotta put the polar, polar bear, bear token. Polar bear. Oops, does he he takes he over my pawn? Yeah. Yep. yep. So that's the second time you've attacked me. And the first time Jamie attacked me, he made a hole in the ice and he had to go back to his ship. And this time he attacked me and now uh, But now we can use the polar bear. Anybody can yeah. use the polar bear. Wow. So if somebody gets too close to it, you can make it eat them. You can make it eat them. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you use a card. I have, to, I have to get past the polar bear to get up to my base. Yeah, you have to, to use a card, but instead of using your own pawn, you, you can move the polar bear. The polar bear, okay. Right. And he's always on the board, right? Well, no, you can ambush him. Somebody can ambush the polar bear and take him out. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You still want to use your husky? That's... Uh, <laughs> I don't have... I my guy kind of got eaten by he a got polar bear. knocked back again. All right. Yeah, so probably not. So this is all of the different, like, the moves. The red ones have Ooh, an attack like move, pattern. which is what we just did. So if it has two shoes, you can move. If it has shoes and an explosion, you can ambush, and it, or you can just ambush. So that's what just happened. Jamie ambushed me and then got this card, but oh, then darn. he got a polar bear, and he got eaten alive. <laughs> that didn't work out. 
So speaking of that nice polar bear we can now use, <laughs> I'm going to use this card which allows me to ambush from anywhere but it has to be straight like I can't do it at a diagonal so I can only do it straight. So gee. Yeah it looks like something's set up I'm right gonna there. I'm going to go. Rawr. <laughs> and then my guy goes back on the ship. And the polar bear stays here because it was in it. It was a slingshot ambush. I jumped over there and I ripped his head off and I came back here. And then you get oh, one of the storm? tokens. Don't you get one of the tokens? Oh, and then I get a token. Or? I get a token. Make a hole in the ice. Nope, I get you got an, an igloo, igloo, so I can protect the dude, Jeez. which I should probably do. You might want to do that to that guy right up there I next to your base since you can't. This guy. Yeah, since you can't immediately get him in I'm there. I protect that guy. And then I gotta fill my cards. Did you make a storm? No, I don't think so. That's my job then, Four, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight. If you use a card with two, <laughs> you don't have a card with two, nope. so it's not your job. Nope, unless I use two, use which two. I do have a husky. You do, so you could make a storm happen. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Look at how many blue guys made it to the North Pole. Yeah, it looks like two of them are injured. This guy, this guy. <laughs> two of them are injured. <laughs> Dehydrated, couldn't yeah. eat all the snow. That's because he's the guy carrying all the weights. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. So I won the game. Good job. These guys were getting distracted, figuring out all their plans, and I was just not thinking and playing. <laughs> yep. Yep. So I ended up winning the game. So that's actually a pretty cool game. I would have to say, what do you think is better, this or quartz? I don't know, I really like quartz. I this really is like fun. Quartz too. I think they both have their own funness. I think the this the, game takes longer. This game definitely it's takes less longer. Players, yeah, it is less players. So the two to four is kind of a hindrance, the four player, but if you were to add more people, it would just take even longer. So Right. Are you trying to figure out how the game board works? Yeah. <laughs> I know for the base camps, each base camp has a hole in a different spot. Yep. I did notice that too. But does it change the way it's blocked? Your hole is blocked two ways. Yours is one, mine is one. That way is two ways. So two are two ways, two are one way. Now, one, that one's two, blocked but on two ways, sides. but on the sides. <laughs> one, two, two, hey, look, there's a the missing two. glass piece. Oh, yeah, yeah yep. Yep. Oh. Found it. Was oh, that way it was snagging? Mm hmm. Oh, it fell out of there, actually. <laughs> Trying to figure out the analytics of the game, yeah, but because Greg's trapped, so we kind of figured that this game is fun when there's a couple more people or a couple less people. Yep. Yeah. But yep. When you get over that three-player mark, I think it uh, yeah starts to get a little time consuming. It, it does say 45 minutes, but uh, that I can, think that took us more than 45 minutes for three people. <laughs> I know, you gotta go home. You gotta go to work tomorrow. Thanks for coming and playing with us. It was fun. Yeah. I saved a bunch of stuff, cards for nothing. Yeah, they're not worth money, not like in quartz. Yeah. And you turn them in then. My guy got eaten by polar bear. Yeah, and you fell through the ice. Fell through the ice, made a hole. Good job. Good job. Cool game. That was fun. Now I wanna know what game we're gonna get next. I know, right? Well, look what happened when we were playing games. We got some snow again. Hi over there, Oakley. Oakley's like, yes! Snow! I don't know how much we're supposed to get, but apparently we got this much right now. Cover in the ground! Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.